YouTube. It's gonna be another Leprechaun Care video. Uh, I don't think my other one was as good as this one's gonna be. And so first off, um, Leprechauns are desert animals, and so you really want to put them on sand. But find enough sand that the, when they eat a cricket, it doesn't get in their uh, immune system, or not immune system, their digestive system, and make them become sick. You can also put paper towels down or a refuse carpet. Um, that might be a little bit safer, but as long as your sand's fine enough that it doesn't harm them, you should be good. Um, next thing is that you want a lot of decor. You don't need you don't need stuff that you don't think they'll need, but um, just stuff that you think they want to use, like like a basking area, like this thing, or you know, a little stuff to shed. Um, a moist hide. You pretty you probably want to use that. Um, a calcium dish, a water dish, those are two things you really need. You don't really need a calcium dish, you can um, sprinkle your crickets every once in a while. Um, not, not too much, because that could harm them. I don't know how, but I just read that. Um, you can use a heat pad or a heat rock. Um, heat rock you want to use, you don't want to get too hot, because they'd sit on it. You can also, from I heard from someone that whatever I bought this from, you, you can um, get a, a high powered heat rock and cover it with sand and sand around it will get hot. Uh, that'll probably work really well. I haven't done that because I don't have enough sand, but it sounds like a pretty good idea. Um, lighting, you don't really need much light because they're nocturnal, but I have a midnight bulb heat lamp and it just it just uh, gives it a purple light. You turn it on and it's night. So that's always a plus to have. You don't need it, but and again, you might want it. Um, when you first get in your leopard gecko, you're going to notice that they like to go to the bathroom in the same area. I like to go over here, so it would be a good idea to place a paper towel down if you don't have want to have the hassle of cleaning out the sand, if you have sand or the refuse carpet, and that's just really easy. Even in the, if, you know, if you're using refuse carpet, you just pull that right out, and it's a lot easier than having to clean the whole refuse carpet. Um, another thing is they uh, they need uh, the 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 calcium that they can't have that they want that you want to use is like just any really old calcium. This one has to be extra. This one happens to be Exoterra, and it's just calcium you can see, and then has some gargoyles gecko I think on it. And so it's really I need for your leopard gecko, and and also you need love and compassion for the animal, and you don't want to abuse it. And so I just want to show you how docile they are. I mean, they don't even try to do anything to you. It's a, just an average old little lizard. This one has to be happens to be a shrimp or albino female. And this this guy, I was told it was a female, a male, and it turns out he either has no balls or he's just or he's just a female. I mean, um, I'm not the expert on sexing a lizard, but what I'm sh I've been looking it up and the bulges are not on him but you know that still doesn't make a difference and leopard geckos don't like to be lonely so it's always good to have a little extra friend along I have two but you don't want to have male male because they fight and you don't want to have male and male and female and female or two males and a female because then they'll fight over the female and fight with them so you really want to have a male and a female and hopefully you can get eggs um, I haven't had any eggs. Once they become mature, they will actually lay eggs without a male. That haven't, hasn't happened yet for me either. I don't think my leopard geckos are not really that big yet. They're about my hand size. So once they get big enough, they'll they'll produce eggs on their own without a male. And also, you don't want to sharp objects in your tank because if they do accidentally rub up against them. They could get hurt, uh, get cuts on them. That's not something you want. Um, this, this, this is a uh, an object, but it's artificial, so it may look sharp, but it's not really sharp. Set on my very, very sharp, but I kind of like sand at the edges, so it's not. And stuff like this, you don't want because my my little. Uh, Super Habitantry and Kirito Lily. This guy. He got out three or four times climbing up that thing and getting out of his cage. Um, I don't have the best lid, so I guess if you had a good lid, you could do that. But if you have a makeshift lid like me, I wouldn't. So, 
This is the Smother Burger Care video. Hope you enjoyed. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.